And Liz Upworth, Lady Usra, gate 8. Sent on their journey, Lady Usra is probably slow about her length, gets on towards the inside rail. Top Honour is one of the first to respond, tackled by Buyback, who will go on to lead. Silvano's Butterfly is not far off the action, just three lengths off them. Towards the outside is Kofiko. Then we drop back to Blue Sails, the red cap. Lady Usra secures the rails run at the thousand disc, followed through by War Goddess. Then we have Sola Helena. Tell My Fortune is at the end of the field, ten lengths off the leader. A free striding buyback as the call past the eight peg by two. Top Honours Lonely in second, three lengths Silvano's Butterfly. Lady Usra is going to look to get a length closer, goes around them. Kafika gets some reminders, then Blue Sails further back in the running. Homeward bound just on 450 metres to go, buybacks on the right, top honours on the left. Favourite Lady Usra comes down the middle, still hands and heels stuff. Silvano's butterflies trying to tighten up towards the inside. Top honours, rider looks across. Lady Usra still got this half a length to make up, it's going to go towards the inside. Top honours is drifting towards the outside, but still has a length to spare. Lady Usra is making heavy weather it on the inside. It's going to come down to a close call. Lady Usra, oh, it's very close. Maybe Lady Usra on the post from Top Honours. In behind these blue sails, Lady Eustace probably done just enough as they hit the winning. Learned that her one start over Marla moved up under the hands and she just got wanting the last bit. But uh, very difficult for to, to to work with. You know, she, she doesn't jump very well and then you've got to sit on her and you just got to hope you don't have too much to make up. But uh, yeah, I'm glad she got her head in front. Hopefully she gets a bit of confidence from this. Just well done to the team for getting her uh, the way they have because she's not a difficult filly to keep sound. So... Just really grateful. Now that she's got her confidence uh, and hopefully she starts learning about the pens, uh, could she go on and give the owners a bit of fun? Yeah, look, uh, she, she's a nice filly. She's always shown us good work and uh, she just never reproduced it. So hopefully with a bit of confidence she, she, can, she, she can get her head in front again. Keegan, the rest of your rides, boxing on, what's your next best? Look, I think the filly in the next um, big runner, she, she ran on well last time, I do think... Um, Lost draw next to me, um, I think it's Dennis Bosch is also his lost to beat, but uh, my filly is improving um, all the while and um, I'm just really hoping she reproduces her last run. Well done here, congratulations to all the punters that have banked her in their pick sixes, they buy you a coke. Yeah, thank you, um, just really grateful um, to Mr Canamay for the opportunities and uh, well done to Nicolette and the team down here, Julius, um, everybody has, uh, we, we, we've been pulling our hair out, we've had a lot of second thirds, but um, they're going to turn into winners soon. Absolutely. Well done, Keegan. Thank you very much. Just well done to all the partners as well. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Let's get Nicolette in. She's going to come and talk to us. And yeah, uh, not saying I'm a, a smarty by any means. I just, yeah, I'm glad that Keegan answered the way he did because yeah, she, 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 Dees and I fainted when she walked out the pens again and she was cantering on the turn and she just looks like she's, she's a little difficult and Keegan's confirmed that. Yeah. She's not the difficult of fillies, but she just has her days. I mean, today she was a little bit more restless in the pens. Uh, and then when the gates opened, she got left again. So, yeah, my heart was also a little bit uh, in my pocket sitting. But we weren't too far back. And turning for home, she looked like she was cantering. But she is a filly, unfortunately. She got a very short run in. So Keegan's got to track something as long as possible before he lets her go. Look, and on the day, she, she's won. She's been ultra consistent. Uh, just well done to the owners. Before you run away, uh, Nicolette, uh, the rest of your runners will travel to the race as well. They're all in a good space. You're expecting a fair day? Yes, you know, the filly in the next race, Lily of Orange, she's done nothing wrong in her last two starts. She's been definitely knocking on the door. I think she'll be a big runner today. And then the filly, Baldy, go in the sixth race. It's a competitive field, I think, but she got beat just a short head the other day. Uh, she's come out of the run very well, so I think she'll run close up. Thank you for your feedback and well done with this winner here. Okay, thank you very Lovely, much. Nicolette. Wayne's here and the family. Let's get Wayne in. Wayne Thompson, he owns us with Mrs. Ragnan and uh, the Schwegman family. Of course, Sir Howard just having had his uh, hip hop, uh, hip hop or hip hop, I'm not sure with Howard, but uh, he'll enjoy this win as much as you have. Well done, Wayne. Yeah, thanks, Warren. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I thought it wasn't going to happen again today. Uh, yeah, just uh, well done to everyone. Very generic answer. Well done to everyone. The stable at home. Uh, Nicolette, Keegan for well, <laughs> getting at home. And then obviously to George. Well done, George. He, he, he's the one that put his hand up for the sauce at the sale. 
and myself and Howard joined him a little bit down the line. So well done to Howard and uh, yeah, uh, that's about it. You know, as we say, when we watch the race, you, you, so many mixed emotions. I mean, she, she played cool. up in the pens and walked out and, you know, then she was cantering and then she had to be asked to put the race to bed. And so you must have been uh, again yeah. pulling your hair out. Yeah, I thought we were going to have to come back in three weeks time to uh, <laughs> compete in the maiden again. But uh, maybe she gets a bit of confidence. I don't yes. think she's a superstar, but uh, hopefully we get another win or two and uh, we can go from there. Wayne, thank you for your contribution to horse racing. Lovely to have you and the family on course. And thank we you, wish Wayne. you many more winners. Thank you, Wayne. Lovely, Wayne. Thank you. Of course, she's one lady Yusra. Let's not be too hard on her. But as you heard from the whole team, she's certainly making, uh, making them pull their hair out. And, you know, you heard from Wayne that he thought, well, maybe they're going to have to come back again for her to win her maiden. But she's won it today, and that's what matters. She's won and she's passed the line in first. Rewarded for consistency, Lady Usra. The whole team are thrilled, and so they should be. And to all the punters that banked Lady Usra, you're in.